What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing great out there. A lot of requests for this song. It's, you know, big hit now. You can use all beginner chords. If you've got the capo on the second fret, it's going to be all those great beginner chords you want to learn with. So I think it should be fun and not too bad, but, but interesting and, and fun to do. Uh, also, if you want to get more into uh, rhythm and strumming, I've got a DVD quality uh, strumming uh, system right in that link down there below this box. I uh, really appreciate you going there and checking out all that stuff and that extra support is great for me, so thank you. Uh, but let's zoom in right now and we're going to have a little fun. Here we go. All right, so I've got a capo on second fret and here is the verse, which happens two times. So it starts with a C chord. And there's also times in, in the song where the chord is a C chord, but the bass player, which kind of gives the foundation of the chord, is playing a G underneath a C. So there's going to be times where it actually sounds better to play a C this way, which would be ring on the third fret, pinky on the third fret, middle finger on the second, and then index on the first of the B. So like. And then for an F chord, scooting it over. Okay? You can do it either way, though, but that's what I recommend for some of these, and you'll see when I do it. So it starts with C to F. Then A minor. They're all kind of similar. Then F again. So that's the verse. Starts over. C. To F. A minor. F. And that is what we would call the verse. Now the chorus does a little something different, and then it's got this little walk-up thing that happens that I'm going to show you and then it repeats that walk up at the end of the song. So, but, but basically this is it. Here comes the chorus. Pretty much the same chords, but check it out. So we'll start with the C. Then we'll go to F. Next time on C, we're going to do it this way. A minor. So it's C, F, C, A minor, so far in the chorus. So C, F, C, A minor. Okay, now check this out. It does C to F, then C, C, A minor. this little walk up and I'll show you all those parts again but A minor index is going to stay middle finger goes to the second of the A string we're going to call that could be a G sus just kind of think of it as that I'm thinking of it as a transition chord but Okay, so watch this. The, oh, the whole chorus. I'll say the chords as we do it. C, F, C, A minor. Back to C. To F. Then C to A minor quicker. C, A minor. Walk up, A minor, over B, then C. So every chord goes one, two, 
three, four. It lasts a measure long, four counts, except for the end of the chorus where C to A minor, and that G's in the bass though. So you may see a tab somewhere that calls that a G chord, but it's really a C chord with a G in the bass. As far as I, you know, I listened to it a bunch of times because it's got that kind of feeling of a G chord. But so yeah, just check it out. So the chorus, you got a C for four, an F for four, C for four, with the G in the bass, A minor for four, now back to C, C for four, F for four, now C for two, A minor for two, F for four, and then that A minor walk up, A minor, over B, and a C. And then near the end of the song, A minor, over B, and a C. Yeah! A minor, over a B, and a C. All right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to get more into strumming and get your beginner rhythm going, I've got a series right there in that link below this box. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.